Hello internet world and welcome to my review of the Umidigi Bison Pro smartphone. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchanged hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my opinion of using this over the past couple of weeks so that you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. This is the Umidigi Bison Pro smartphone and this is an ideal choice of smartphone if you lead an active lifestyle or perhaps you need something that's a little bit tougher than your average smartphone that's available. So this is what you get inside the box. Let's just take a quick look at all of the accessories. First of all, the box, a really nice bright color. You're not gonna miss that. So very nice presentation box. And inside the box, you do get a little booklet. This is your instruction guide, guide around the phone, how everything works and it's just nice that you get a printed manual. You also get a USB charger. Now, depending upon which country you buy this in, this might be slightly different. This is a European two pin plug on this one, USB on this end. And then you also get a charging cable. This is USB A on one end, which is the rectangular type connector. And then USB C, which is the end that's gonna go into your smartphone. And then you get the smartphone itself. Now I've left the screen cover on at the moment. I have had it off for testing, but I left this on just so you see how it's presented when you get it out of the box. You do also get a protector on the back. There's like a film type protector that you peel off of the back. But this is what it looks like. It's got some of the specs written on the screen protector. A Helio G80 gaming processor, a Sony 48 megapixel AI triple camera, and a 24 megapixel front facing camera on this smartphone. Also IP68 and IP69K rating. It's got a barometer and e-compass in as well. Infrared thermometer as well. Also 6.3 inch Full HD plus screen with Corning Gorilla Grass and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. That's a really good battery and I'll talk to you about battery life during this video. It's also running Google Android 11 and it's got NFC. So when you get this out of the box for the first time, you can peel this front sheet off and it does actually leave a screen protector in place. So now you've got a, a smartphone fresh out of the box with a screen protector in place. If we take a look on the side here, we've got an array of buttons. We've got the normal volume up and down. We've also got the power on off and then we've also got an action button which gives you direct access to the camera. Across the bottom here, we've got the USB-C Across the top, we have got a headphone jack. On this side here, we've got the SIM slot. We've also got a fingerprint reader. We've also got another quick action button just here, which uh, does give you access to, I think, the uh, temperature check. It's got like a, a temperature or a thermometer built into this. So really nicely placed buttons. That fingerprint sensor on the side, when we tap it, does wake the phone up nice and quickly. And then you lock it on the opposing side with the power button and then you can unlock again with the fingerprint sensor. So that's a nice way of doing things. And then if we take a look around on the back, you can see again, really nice industrial type design. We've got this sort of molded plastic. It's almost as though the phone's already in a case, but this is part of the actual phone. And that's what, that, what adds to it sort of waterproof feature and also the rugged nature of this phone. And then we've got the camera array on the top here. Really good cameras actually. And for the price of this phone, you are getting a lot for your money. We've also got the Bison Pro branding, of course. We've got room where we can connect a, a lanyard, for example. And if we go back around to the front, we can unlock it again with that fingerprint sensor. Unlocks nice and quickly. These are the apps that you're gonna get pre-installed on the smartphone. So this is all of the pre-installed apps but you can see a nice clear screen, and this isn't at full brightness. So really nice screen. We've got, of course got the Google apps pre-installed. It's Play Store supported, so you can install pretty much any app that you want. And it's got a nice turn of speed. It's a nice responsive smartphone. I'm gonna show you some of the photos that I took because a lot of you ask about performance of the camera. Here's some of the photos I took earlier. These were taken in less than optimal light, and especially this one, I was very impressed with the detail that was picked up on this microphone. Uh, let's go back into 
the gallery, this another photo I took. Again, all of these are in really less than optimal lighting. I really wanted to push this camera to see how good it was at actually focusing and the amount of detail that it got. And in all of the photos, apart from this one, it lost focus on this one a little bit, but pretty much all of the photos that it took, it did really well, especially this one. I mean, look at the detail on that. And that was taken in really quite poor lighting conditions. So I think you'll be impressed with the actual uh, photo quality and also the video quality that it produces. It's not quite up there with flagship smartphones, but it's more than good enough. Now, during the introduction to this re review, I ran through some of the specifications and that 5,000 milliamp hour battery, that's gonna keep this running for a good long time, easily, very easily, a day between charges. You'll possibly, if you're a low to medium user, eke out probably two days between charges. Where this phone really excels though, is in the fact that this has got um, some really good uh, rugged features. That waterproof nature, the built-in protection around the side, this is ideal if you lead an active lifestyle. As I said earlier, if you're perhaps a tradesman and perhaps you put your phone down on a surface or drop it on a surface very occasionally, this is gonna stand the test of time. I think Umi Digi have done a fantastic job on the design of this, because even though it's rugged, it's not too bulky. It fits in your hand very nicely. It's very comfortable to use. So that's it for this review. This is the Umi Digi Bison Pro. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, there are links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.